Hey guys, I wanted to come in here and show you a few things. I'm going to create a couple of videos on making some homemade stuff that is going to be kind of one of your extra healthy fats. Um, I also made my egg cups and I also have made these really great oatmeal muffins for my yellow for the morning. But I'm going to show you how to make your own hummus. So I buy a six pack of these garbanzo beans from Costco, drain out the liquid and I save the liquid because um, this is a really good option of not having to put a lot of oil in your hummus. You can use this water and it's called something and I don't know what it's called, but anyways. Um, and then, do you know what this is? Have you ever peeled garlic and struggled and struggled with it on getting all the peel off of it? Well, this is a little garlic peeler so basically you stick the garlic inside and I'm going to drop the camera down here so you can see what I'm doing. And you're basically, you roll it like this and check that out. Your garlic is peeled. So that's that. Get my camera propped up. So I've got my garlic all peeled and this recipe calls for four. Um, I got a couple of variety of sizes. Um, I've got everything in my blender. I'm going to throw these in there. I do like to cut off the little, that little dry spot. Um, so cut that off. I'm going to throw those in the blender. I've got the chickpeas all in there. Um, it calls for tahini, which is this. Um, it is a sesame paste. And you can get a different, it, this is a, the store brand organic, but um, you can really use any kind of tahini. And usually when you open up tahini, it'll have a layer of oil on it, so you want to mix it up. So this recipe calls for a teaspoon, a teaspoon of tahini. So I'm going to throw that in the blender, get my measuring spoon out. teaspoon of tahini and it's like runny watery kind of stuff and I suppose you can use a more tahini if you like that flavor but um, I just follow what the recipe says and then it calls for some lemon juice and again um, I don't have any fresh lemon right now but I really like this Santa Cruz organic blend and calls for a tablespoon of lemon juice and really when you're making your own hummus you can kind of freestyle what you're putting in it I'm dropping tahini all over the floor <coughs> and then it's gonna have some olive oil in it and again you can kind of drizzle this I'm gonna just use a tablespoon <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna use a tablespoon in it and um then if I need more, I will add more of my liquid from the can of garbanzos. So, sorry I keep stepping away from the camera, but got my olive oil in there. And my son took some tomatoes and we dehydrated them. And now they are in oil, they're packed in oil for preservation. And I'm going to take a few of those because I want some, like, sun-dried tomato hummus. I'm going to throw those in there. And um, normally you could use the kind of sun-dried tomatoes that are packed in water, or sometimes you can find them in the produce section. Um, and they're just, like, in a container, but they're not packed in anything. But these I'm going to throw in there. And then I'm going to turn the blender on and... Um, Add some salt and pepper if I feel like I need to and um, blend it all up and that's how you make hummus. You can use a food processor, you can use a blender, you could use a Nutribullet if you have one, but um, that's kind of how you do hummus and um, that is a healthy fat that you can have with celery, cucumbers, um, jicama, you know, whatever kind of veggie you want for kind of your afternoon snack. So that's it for hummus.